Uchimata is precisely the movement that the Dutchman Anton Giesink preferred. Giesink was the first non-Japanese judoist to be lionized. He also was, and this is sometimes overlooked, the most Japanese of all Western judoists. He visited the country of the rising sun several times and lived there for more than two years, learning from the great Japanese masters. Yet the day he put an end to Japanese invincibility, a quake hit the planet judo. Anton Giesink at work. Three Japanese are competing in the 1961 Paris World Championships. Giesink is most of the time in a standing position. Stepping backward or forward, he's always taking the offensive. His goal is the decisive point, the ippon. When it's necessary, he can also work so as to bring about a series of actions on the floor. His judo truly bears the Japanese stamp. During the 1964 Olympic Games in Tokyo, judo is admitted as a sport of demonstration, and a whole nation believes that its champion, Kaminaga, is going to erase the affront suffered three years before in Paris. Unfortunately, right from the preliminary heat, Giesink is back. After a curious system of qualification, he meets Kaminaga again, but this time in the final. The 130 kilograms of the Dutch giant crush Kaminaga and a whole nation. An entire country is struck with dismay. The words national mourning are even mentioned. Giesink has become a legend and lives in Utrecht, in a street which bears his name. When he gives up competition, the Japanese think they're going to recover the...